Hey guys, on this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're going to be going over some basic troubleshooting here on the GTEC A10M 3D printer, but I will also make note of where this applies to the non-mixing head machines in the video. So let's dive into the most common problems that I have seen listed on the forum and easy ways to correct it. Okay, so the first most common problem people have is they're still using the metal clips or they're using binder clips to hold their super plate down to their heated bed. And the most common problem with this is the traces for the heated bed are underneath here and the insulation on there can very easily get disturbed and the metal clips can actually short out the heated bed which will then cause the power supply here to go into shutdown mode and turn your machine off which will leave your screen with this eerie glow on it and people will assume it's either the main board that's dead or the power supply that's dead or something like that and the reality is it's just the clips and your two options are one to just get rid of the clips altogether which i did very early on and just peel off that yellow adhesive strip and stick your super plate down directly to your heated bed or you can take a little bit of capped on insulation tape or something similar that's of high temperature resistance and put that in between your clips and the heated bed to prevent it from shorting out. Personally I'm just not a fan of the clips period. I can understand why they're there but I just never saw a point. Okay, so the second most common problem that I've seen involves the super plate and prints not sticking to it. Now you notice I'm touching the super plate here. Not saying that you should be doing this, but if you are going to touch your super plate, you're going to want to clean this off with some at least 50 to 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol because the oil that's on your skin, if it gets on here, prints just are not going to want to stick. Now, that applies to really any print surface, bare glass, build tack, PEI, doesn't matter. If there's gunk on the surface, things are not going to want to stick. So just while the bed is cold, take a paper towel and just wipe it down a couple of times. Let it dry and you should be good. If you're still having print sticking issues, then you might want to double check your bed leveling and or your first layer height, maybe up the temperature, 5 or 10 degrees, see if that helps. Um, I personally have had no problems with the super plate. I've seen people complaining all day, I can't get my pants to stick. Well, try cleaning the bed and maybe just try a different kind of PLA. Try tweaking the settings a little bit. Um, it can it can work very well. I mean, I've had prints that are done on here while it's still hot and they're very hard to remove. Once it gets cold, you can just bump them off. So I personally have had no problems with this, but that could be an issue. Now these next two issues are sort of machine dependent and I will have a caption on the screen stating which machine it applies to. But um, one problem that I've had with my A10M is the fact that it will sometimes do a y-axis layer shift. And on this model it is somewhat hard to see, but there is definitely an area where you can tell there's a lip there that should not be there. That should just be one continuous surface. So one thing that we can do is we can turn the machine on, dim the light here so that way you guys can see the screen better on camera. But we're going to push the middle wheel. We're going to go down to the control menu. We're going to want to go to motion. and We're going to want to go to acceleration. Now on my machine, it was originally at a value of 1,000. I have dropped it down to 500, and that seems to have corrected the issue. Now that still does not mean that you should not double check that your belts are tight and your carriages are not ridiculously loose, but if you've done all that and you're still having issues, that's worth doing. Okay, so one thing that really 
is a very common issue with these machines that people constantly complain about and GTech doesn't seem to have really made an announcement fix for and I don't know if their later firmwares are going to fix it but it's that the e-steps are wrong out of the package for both the direct drive machines which would be like an A10, an A30 and for the geared extruder machines like my A10M here and it is that the e-steps are set wrong by about 20% under extrusion. So to fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to click the middle mouse wheel. We're going to go to the control panel. We're going to go down to motion. And we're going to go down to steps per millimeter. Then we're going to scroll to the bottom to what's called e-steps. You see how it's at 340? That's not correct. We're then going to click the middle mouse wheel on there and we're just going to turn this up to the desired value for your machine. Okay, so now we have the right setting for my A10M. We're going to click the middle wheel. We're going to go out. We're going to go down to store settings. This is critical. Hear that beep? It stored it. So now what we can do. So hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any more suggestions for videos to do about troubleshooting for the GTEC machines, be it an A10 or an A10M, please let me know and I will do my best to get it out there for you. Um, I definitely wish GTEC did a slightly better job of QC and customer service, but then again, you know what? That's what the community is all about. So, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.